Hi everybody, it is Angie at Treasured Vintage. I've been getting a lot of friend mail and I thought I would share it with you um, because it's just been such a blessing to me and I wanted to share with you all of the things that I've been getting from uh, YouTube subscribers and customers and uh, just wonderful friends. So, um, Debbie Mitchell. How in the world can you make such cute little paintings? These chickadees are just the dearest things in the world. She painted me two little paintings and, and uh, said that I might be able to find a frame for them because you, as you probably know if you watch my channel, I do pick up a lot of picture frames to sell. Well, I hadn't listed this one yet and it is absolutely perfect for this little chickadee painting. Debbie Mitchell, you are a great artist. I love this. And I love it in this frame. The frame is like, you know, nature inspired. So this is really, this is one of my favorite things. It's going to be displayed in my office. I love it so much. And Here's another one. This is a beautiful cardinal in another frame that I haven't listed yet. So this is going to be the cardinal. The cardinal is so cute. It's in a blue spruce, and uh, she is just really talented. I just, I just wish I had the patience and the time and uh, the talent to do such things. But um, so cute. So nice. Debbie, thank you so, so much. And uh, her card was, she just put them in this Christmas card, beautiful Christmas card for me, and a beautiful note that uh, my friendship means the world to her. Yours does to me too, Debbie. Thank you so much. Um, so then uh, I'll kind of work my way back. Uh, the from the most recent to the oldest, I think, because I wanted to show you that Debbie painting. This is from my dear friend, Bunch of Carrots. Bunch of Carrots sent me a treasure trove of Damascene. Um, Janet is her name, and she watches me on Sundays. I usually see her in the chat. And uh, thank you so much, Janet, because, wow, this, this right here is something that I just love to death because to find something like this in the original packaging, it to me is something really, really special. And I love Damascene, I have a collection of it. And, uh, and right here on the back of this, uh, it tells how it's made and so intricate. You know, it's such, I don't know why Damascene does not go for a whole lot more because there is so much work that went into this. So much. Um, and this is really a beautiful pendant. And then, I mean, she sent me so much, so many beautiful things in this little box. Um, she sent me this which is um, the faux Damascene, I believe, but still equally as beautiful. Um, I have this too in my collection, and it has the C clasp. And it's a shell, which I don't have this pin, so very cool. Uh, these are actually not uh, Damascene, but they are the Siam uh, goddess or dancers. Um, they are beautiful. I love them. Uh, this is just the kind of thing that I that I love to find for my shop. So I think um, these might be going in my shop after I keep them a while and look at them because they're so beautiful. I love the the uh, glass cabochon on top. I think it's glass. I'm not sure. It might be it might be acrylic or something, but they're in really nice shape. Um, the subject matter is cool, very very vintagey, and I love them. And these. I've never seen any. There's probably some on, you know, online on Etsy, but I've never, never looked for any, never seen any. These are so cute, little 
uh, cufflinks. They are so, so cute and very dainty. And uh, this actually says 24K on there because that is the process uh, that they are, they are made with 24 carats. So that right there would be actual 24 carat. And they are just the cutest things. I love them so much, so much. So they'll be going in my collection. Thank you, Janet. And then there's one more thing, a bracelet. A bracelet that I've never seen one like this before. It's a very old one. It has some wear on it, but still it's beautiful. It's still beautiful with the butterflies and the uh, kind of angular deco type shape. Um, but, you know, still Asian. Very Asian. See, the back has, has a good bit of wear, but who sees the back, right? The front's gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. It is just the, the most perfect Damascene collection. It's just a tiny treasure chest of Damascene. I love it so, so much. Thank you, Janet. Um, you're, you're really a blessing to me. Thank you so much. And the card that you sent was just what I needed to hear. It was a super, super blessing to me. And uh, uh, big hugs, big hugs. Then uh, April, I won some things from, uh, or yeah, I, I bid on an auction of April's, what was it? I guess I don't have it here. I just have the um, the things that she sent um, in addition to what I won. What did I win? I think it was, oh, it was a bracelet. It was a uh, brass bracelet. I don't know why I didn't leave it here. But anyway, these are the extra things that she sent me along with that brass bracelet that I won. Uh, this is a uh, Sarah Coventry piece that I had. I do have the earrings. So this will go with my the earrings that I have. I forget the name of this piece, but it's a really cool Sarah Coventry necklace. And then there's these nice pretty beads. I love the uh, crystals on them. They're, I guess they're acrylic, but still very pretty. Very pretty colors. Thank you so much, April, for the extra things and for having your auctions and for helping people that have their auctions. Um, one day I'm going to get you to help me, I think. So, thank you so, so much. Love you, April. And then, Cindy loves jewelry. She saw my video on um, the, um, the plated uh, or gold-dipped... Um, leaves and she sent me these pine cones which I did not have any pine cones and I'm not sure what this one is if that's a pine cone or not it's a really long one if it is I guess it is but I didn't have any of these so I was like thrilled to get them um, they will go with my my leaves and uh, thank you so so much they're so cute I love them and course she didn't she didn't disappoint me with the Monet she sent me some Monet a uh, little pierced pierced dangle earrings and we all know how much I love the Monet you see it says Monet on the on the backs oh no wait it's Napier sorry well I was thinking it was Monet that's okay I love Napier equally equally for sure so these are Napier, and I've started a little collection of Napier, too. Um, I have a little box started of that. So I will look in my Napier book, the Napier book that weighs like 20 pounds, and, and it might take me two days to look, but I'm going to look and see if I can find these in the book, see if they're a book piece. Thank you, Cindy. Love you. Thank you so much. I love all you guys, if I didn't say that. You guys are special to me, all my watchers. And these are from a very treasured, very dear customer of mine who uh, just makes makes my shop uh, 
just just a delight because she is a very very wonderful customer a repeat customer a very lovely person and uh, she sent me a Christmas gift which I'm going to wear I can't wait to wear um, she says love you my friend I hope you like the gifts and these are just gorgeous I, I really couldn't decide for a while which which set I like the most these are Italian silver and um, really now that I'm looking at them I still can't decide because I love love each each pair each set oh the green is so gorgeous the green is just so so pretty anything emerald green just catches my eye and look at those baguettes how they just glitter I'll probably be wearing this on Sunday I'm thinking thinking I'm gonna wear this or maybe closer to Christmas I don't know maybe I'll wear this on Sunday but anyway so so pretty thank you so much my dear Etta I love you and big hugs and uh, and I have some more friend mail coming I think so when I get that I will show you that and I have another video that I'm going to upload today on my books um, Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to show. Uh, this, these things. I had, I, I've been having uh, jewelry connections lately. Uh, my friend uh, Michelle, that who who I got the jewelry from. Um, it's been a while since she's contacted me actually, but I've gotten jewelry from her a good many times before. But she just contacted me again and, and told me she had gotten some things would I like to look through. And sh so I said, sure, you know, bring it over. When it rains, it pours with this jewelry connections. But, hey, I'm not complaining. So here's what I ended up with uh, getting. And I have to let her know that I want these things. Uh, this is a Crown Trafari Christmas pin. It's really nice. I just love all the, the uh, detail on it. So I'm going to get that from her, definitely from the 60s or 70s, it's an older one. And then in this box, ooh, some goodies, uh, this, I'm going to put on a different chain. Um, chain is, I don't like this spring ring class, but I actually repaired this. It was missing a blue stone. Can you tell which stone it was missing? Let me put it down here. Let me put it on here so you can maybe see it better. Yep. It's kind of got foil, foil in the back, and I still am going like going back and forth of what this picture is. Uh, it's it looks like a a woman holding perhaps a baby. Maybe it's Jesus. I don't know. But And then there are three people there looking down on the lady. But I don't see, like, Joseph or anybody, so I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh, can you tell which stone that I repa re replaced? Okay. You give up? <laughs> like you're going to answer me. Uh, it is this one. I replaced this one. It is slightly darker than the other ones, but it's a pretty good match. Uh, I don't think when you're wearing that you'd be able to tell. Um, I think it's a really cool piece. Uh, it Like that on the back. I don't know if it's kind of like pot metal, but I'm not sure if it's pot metal or not. Um, it seems like it might be. I'm leaning towards that, but uh, very interesting piece. Anybody has any ideas about this, let me know. I'm going to put that in my shop, do some research on it, uh, change out the chain probably, only because I don't like that spring ring. It's a nice vintage sterling chain, but I don't like that. So. There's that piece. Um, 
there's these really awesome crements uh, cufflinks that are Masonic and they have this little jewel in the, and they are patented and marked Cramants in here. Very pretty. Very nice. And uh, this little set here. Enamel set. It's a clamper bracelet. Let me pan back a little bit now. I'm too close. A clamper bracelet that fastens like this. And it's not marked, but another in another case where it should be marked. At least I haven't seen a mark in it yet. Maybe I need to look a little closer, but uh, it's a really nice piece. And uh, here are pierced earrings that go with it. And they are really nice too. So there is a little mark right there, so I'm not sure. I've seen that mark before, and I don't know what that means. It, it doesn't really seem like it's a, a maker's mark to me, but these are very cute. I like that. And this is really cool. It's a very small ring, but it's copper, and it has a, I don't know, is that a bear or a lion? It's not a lion. Uh, is it a some kind of a cat or a bear? Let me know what you think. What is it? It almost looks bear-like to me. But it could be like a leopard or something. I don't know. But it's a really cool ring. Um, unfortunately, it's a pretty small size. I think it's like a four. Because my little finger is a six. It does not go down there, but... Hey, I would wear it. I would wear it up there. I wouldn't have a problem wearing it up there. It, it it's very nice, smooth. Um, it's cool. So I like that a lot. And these are just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful with margarita stones. They are Weiss. They are signed Weiss. Look how pretty they are. Um. She had other um, earrings that were Christmas trees too, but um, I'm kind of over that right now. So, but these, uh, yeah, these are are definitely worth worth picking up. You see, they're signed Weiss right here, and they're just gorgeous, very very gorgeous pieces. I love those. Be tempted to keep those, but I'll probably sell them. Um, it's not like I'm going to wear those. Um, but just look how pretty. Look how beautiful. It'd be so nice for someone's collection. I don't know. If I sell them, I'll probably be, I'll probably be like, oh, I should have kept those. I love them. Just those stones. I don't think I have anything with those stones, with the margarita stones. In fact, I'm almost 99% sure I do not have any margarita stones in any of my pieces so we shall see all right that is it my friends oh no it isn't <laughs> I was on the fence about this and I'm still on the fence about it I don't know if I'm gonna get this from her or not um it is sterling it is little palm trees uh, I don't know. I've seen this effect before, but I don't really know what it's called. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's... It's probably a name for that. Um, one of the reasons I'm not getting it is because I don't know what what it's called. <laughs> How to describe that thing. Um, if anybody knows... Uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know. But that that is nice. I should probably get it because 
she probably won't charge me too too much for this stuff um, yeah it's on a sterling chain for me I guess but that is some palm trees and I'm on the fence about them so let me know uh, what you think uh, have a blessed day and I will talk to you on Sunday on my live show Thanks, everybody, for coming. Like and subscribe if you like these uh, type videos. And, oh, my gosh, I have to leave you with these because, well, just because they are gorgeous. Okay. Bye, everybody. Sorry for the jiggling. Oh. Okay, just one then. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Picture perfect. Goodbye. Have a blessed day.